Hello YouTube viewers. This is Dijin Jays from the Device Manager. In this video, we will see how to fix IGDKMD64.sys blue screen of death error in Windows 10. Actually, this IGDKMS Intel Graphics Driver Kernel Mode 64-bit. Uh, this is a software component of Intel Graphics Card Drivers for Windows and Intel which provides this kernel mode graphics driver on an OEM basis to laptop manufacturers. Several different problems involve the driver which causes the blue screen of death that has been reported including video TDR error, IGDKMD and uh, NVLDDMKM like that. TDR stands for timeout, detection and recovery and when attempting to reset the display drivers and recover from a timeout you will see video TDR error Unfortunately, this error can't be solved by merely deleting the IGDKM64.sys. In fact, you can't even delete or edit this file as it's one of the critical system files of Microsoft system. Sys is a file extension for a system file device driver used by Microsoft Windows. So you can't delete this. Without deleting this, let's see how to fix this blue screen of death error. I'll give you five methods as usual. Follow method one by one. Try every method. I am sure that one of the method will definitely fix your problem. Method 1. Roll back Intel graphics card drivers. For that uh, you need to press Windows key and R or you just go to run. There you type debmgmt.mse device management div management.mse Click OK. It will take you to the device manager window. There in uh, display adapters you can see Intel HD Graphics 4000. Right click on that and click on properties. It will take you to the properties window. In properties window you can see an option like rollback driver. Select on it and click OK to save settings. And this will roll back uh, your driver settings and reboot your PC and see whether the problem is fixed or not. In some cases this rollback driver will be in gray color or, or it, will, it will not work. In that case, you just go to the display adapters, Intel HD graphics card, right click on it, click uninstall instead of properties. After clicking uninstall, close everything, restart your PC and it will automatically load the default drivers of Intel graphics card and uh, see whether the problem is fixed or not. If not fixed, don't worry, let's go to the method 2. Method 2 is run system file checker that is SFC and check disk CHK DSK. For that what you need to do is press and hold Windows key and X. Windows key plus X. It will take you to a window like this which shows command prompt, command prompt management, those things. You select command prompt admin and it will, it will take you to the command prompt in command prompt you type sfc forward slash scan now s c a n n o w i have given all these commands in the description so don't worry after typing sfc slash scan now hit enter and you can see something like beginning verification face of system scan verification one person complete it will take some time just wait for the process to complete and after completion just restart your PCs and PC and check whether that blue screen of death error still persists or not. Also you need to check disk. For checking disk as I mentioned in the first step you again go to command prompt as admin. There you need to type chk dsk forward slash f slash r chk dsk forward slash f slash r and hit enter and you can see something like would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts y or n you type y and hit enter so in the next uh, restart it will automatically check uh, whether there is any issue with your uh, hard disk or not okay after doing these steps you restart your pc and check whether your problem is fixed or not. If not fixed, let's go to method 3. Method 3 is change the Intel graphics settings. 
how to change the Intel graphics settings. For that, uh, you just need to right click on an empty area on the desktop. Okay, it will give like uh, undo move graphics properties. You select graphics properties. In graphics properties, uh, in Intel HD graphics control panel, you click on 3D. Intel HD graphics control panel, click on 3D. In the next window, you can see something like uh, select profile, current settings. And in application optimal mode, you select enable. Okay. Also in general settings, performance, you select balance mode. Now go back to the main menu and click on video. In that video window, you need to select standard color correction, application settings and input range. There are also application settings. And after these things, save all changes and restart your PC. Just see whether your problem is fixed or not. In most of the cases, with these three methods, the problem will be definitely got fixed. If not, let's move to the method four. Method four is make sure Windows is up to date. To make sure that your Windows is up to date or not, we just uh, press Windows key and one. Windows key and one. It will take you to a window setting window like this, window setting window. There you select update and security. In the next window, you can see an option like check for updates. Hit on that. If updates are found, it will make sure to install them. Just install all the updates if available. And after installing all the updates, reboot your system. And I'm sure that this method will definitely help you to fix the blue screen of death error. If not, let's move to the method five. That is disable Intel's integrated GPU. Disable Intel's integrated GPU. For that you need to go to run. You can use uh, Windows key plus R. In run you type again debmgmt.msc device management.msc hit OK. And in the device manager window you go to display adapters their Intel HD graphics 4000. Right click on it and click on disable. After disabling it close every window Restart your PC and I'm sure that this will definitely fix your problem. So that's all. Try these methods. I'm sure that one of the methods will definitely help you to fix the issue. If not, please feel free to ask through the comment section. I'll be uploading more and more videos regarding Windows 10 in the coming days. So please subscribe my channel. Please leave a thumbs up if this video helped you. This is DJ Jays signing off.